Okay, this is a video which is going to talk you through how to make fabric textile prints in the style of William Morris. My class are doing the Victorians at the moment and we're actually building model Victorian houses and we're going to be using uh, this as wallpaper inside the Victorian houses. So we've studied William Morris and we're trying to use some of his ideas. Now, first things first, uh, downloaded from Twinkle, it's always really useful, uh, some, some uh, ideas of the style of William Morris. And what I've got the kids to do is to start off with, on a polystyrene block, is to, with a felt tip pen, very lightly, draw out some kind of ideas. What I've kind of gone for here is um, a rep pattern so that hopefully the, this half can be joined with this half and uh, it might create something looking a bit like a plant or flower. What else have I got? I've got um, newspaper, because it's gonna get pretty messy. Obviously make sure you've got the most inappropriate stories uh, ready for the children to laugh and be distracted by. That's always a good one, isn't it? Secondly, um, I've got some, uh, some ink. I splodged a bit on a nice um, plastic tray. That's gonna be useful. And I've, and I've got two ink rollers. So the first thing you're gonna do is uh, after, the, after you've got some, um, them to draw out some sort of floral designs, which might get quite busy uh, with a felt tip pen, I've done it on this just so that it's uh, not gonna push into the polystyrene. And then the next thing to do is using a sharp pencil, like so, we're gonna go over the lines to create the indents needed. So this is where we speed up and uh, come back to it when it's ready. Okay, so I've been through all of the lines now with uh, a pencil. So now it's time to get messy. So to start with, we're gonna get our first ink roller and we're gonna essentially get all of the splodgy bits out here. And this is kind of old, quite old ink. I noticed that this was, uh, it wasn't looking particularly great when I first started using it. I've chosen a dark turquoise so that it's got a bit more of a Victorian kind of feel to it. So we need to just keep rolling it until we feel like it's kind of smooth on the roller. Now, next thing, we're gonna roll onto, we're gonna roll onto our uh, thing like this. I'm gonna suggest putting it down on some newspaper so you can properly get it rolling. You need to hear that little, um, almost like the sound of ripping Velcro when you know it's completely covered. Go. That's looking pretty good. Put the old roller down there. Now, first thing you might probably want to get the kids to do is to write their name on one side of here, so there's uh, yes, there's no arguments as to over who's is who's. Uh, so I'm just going to write my initials on the back in pencil to start with. There we go. Flip that over, and then we're ready to go. Now we're going to place this right in the corner here and we're going to press down reasonably hard with our hands and then this is where the second roller comes in i think a second roller is really useful for making sure that you get even pressure across there we go that's looking pretty good so far and then the tip now is to make sure that you remove it without actually ripping the tile so there you go and that's not looking too bad. That's a little bit William Morris-esque. Right, the thing to do now is repeat. So more ink on the tile. Make sure I get every little section covered. And what I'm gonna try and do now is I'm gonna try and see if I can tessellate this a little bit. I've no idea whether this is gonna work, but when I drew it originally, I wanted to see if I could actually do half of my design this side, half that this side, so that it would kind of tessellate just a little bit and create an overall picture. So let's just see if this works. Okay, and the clean roller for this bit. Now let's have a look. Yeah, not bad. It's not particularly great. 
and actually um, it doesn't look too floral, does it? Um, but it's not too bad. So let me try a couple more. So, one print in the style of William Morris, and you can see here, this is what happens when you don't quite get the, uh, the ink looking particularly good. So it kind of, it looks okay. I've tried to get a, a plant sort of design here where it's sort of symmetrical, and it's kind of worked. I've tried to get some of the vines to, to sort of go from the bottom and continue on the next one, which is okay. But in terms of uh, William Morris style wallpaper, that's not too bad. Okay, so having done this, what would I suggest would be an improvement next time? Well, I think it's turned out okay. I think it does look a little bit like William Morris style wallpaper. But the main issue that I have is that I think it's tried to be a little bit too clever in the use of symmetry. It doesn't actually look like flowers. It just looks like a bit of a mess. So here's a couple of other ideas, which don't necessarily tessellate, but you can see, I think they're that much more effective. They do actually look like the plants and flowers that they're supposed to look like. And this is a, a very, very simple one, but again, it's much sharper. So I think maybe simplicity is uh, perhaps better than trying to be too complicated. I think you can see from my tile, actually the sharp pencil that I did gouged into um, the uh, polystyrene a little bit too much, which made the edges a little less accurate. So I would suggest maybe using a biro rather than a sharp pencil. Anyway, hope you found those tips uh, useful. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.